We'll talk about how great the Phantom Menace is. I mean, you've got Qui-Gon Chin, who's freaking cool. One, two, three, four. Yeah. This is the best blanket in the world. It's fuzzy and soft and makes me feel like I'm not alone. And that's why it's here today, <laughs> to help me in this process of learning a new skill. Also to dampen the noise because I'm going to learn how to do pen spinning. Yeah, I'm out of breath. It was exhausting just running from the couch. <laughs> like, I exercise a lot and I should, I don't know why my body just doesn't want me to not be tired. <laughs> I'm excited, I think that's why. I'm, I'm really excited because today I'm gonna learn how to pen spin. Uh, well, I'm gonna learn some more pen spinning. To be fair, I do know how to do this, which is cool. And I know how to do, wait, that's the same. The extended, wait, that one, and then the extended version. I can do those, and then there's the, that one, which I can almost do. So I know a couple things. I learned pen spinning a little bit in high school because, you know, it was what the cool kids were doing. All of us cool kids who played Rubik's Cube and juggled the cool kids. We pen spinned. And now they have these fancy pens that are long and weighted and they feel great. And so I was like, I'm going to learn how to pen spin and do some more stuff. Do some more stuff. And I'm here with my roommate slash best bud, Dan. Hey. What's up, Dan? What's up, T? Can you pen spin? No. I don't think so. I don't think that's ever something that I've pursued in my life. I think you should learn. I think you'd be good at it because you sit at a desk all day. Well, I wasn't one of the cool kids in high school, so it might explain a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I was definitely cool. Yeah. You should see a picture of me in high school. Oof. I was hot. I... <laughs> hot like an alien impersonating a human? Hot like a girl who didn't know that you should wear clothes that fit, and that you should do your hair. Oof, sound like me now. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so, pen spinning. Uh, yeah, uh, just starting from where I know how to do, where I know how to do, English, Taylor tries. Uh, I know there's the thumb spin, or twirl, or whatever that's called. And there's this one, which is the, this is the first one I learned, and I remember learning this in high school, and it was so hard. And now I can do it. Like, I don't know if you can... Look at that. That is nice. And then there's the extended version. Like that. And now I have, you know, I kind of thought that would be a little harder for me to get, so... <sighs> I guess I gotta learn some new ones, because... These incredible skills. <laughs> Dang it, my hands are just too good at everything. <sighs> Step one, have these hands. <laughs> these hands. Step two, learn a new one. Um, oh yeah, there was one that I saw, I, I looked at a tutorial online earlier because I think you should be prepared when learning a new thing. And tutorials are a big part of that. Now, I get frustrated with tutorials, but this one actually was pretty good. And it was this... <sighs> Okay, so the, I can't do it, but the idea was that you twirl this around here and then it comes back up and you just do that over and over again and it's so satisfying. And so I want to learn that. I'm going to just work on it. Have you ever seen Goldeneye? I don't know. I'm just saying, there was a guy that, sp that spun pens all through that movie. He spun pens? Yeah. It wasn't like knives or something cool? No, it was it's pens. A James Bond movie, right? with a pen. Oh. Yeah, well, it was a computer villain, of course, so, you know, nerdy, like the cool kids. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Goldeneye. It's a good movie. I don't think I've seen Goldeneye. I think I saw... Was that... That was... I played the game. Yeah, boy. The, the game was really good. 10 out of 10. That's Enough. such a good game. Back right? then, like 2 out of 10 today. Let's be real. No. I don't know, man. It's kind of impossible to play. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> like, just, it's it's a clunky game. It's like, it's like, who made this and why? Why can't I bend my pinky? Like, that's, 
that's the bit. I can do one, no I can't. I can do one, two, and then how do you get this under that? Unless I'm pushing it, but I don't think that's how you, I think it's supposed to be independent. It's very annoying, okay. A lot of it's gotta be momentum, cause that's how that one works. I feel really cool when I do that. Do I look cool? It does look pretty cool, Thanks. I'm not gonna lie. Does this look cool? I mean, if you have a dating profile anywhere, you should just have a gif of you spinning a pen. Just, <laughs> just like that. As a matter of fact, make that the gif. Or jif. I don't know. I think I just offended somebody. No, it's gif. <laughs> Those people can go back to the wrong part of the internet. That's what I think. Okay. Somebody outside of our door just being weird? Is it the mailman? It's the mailman. Of course. Get him, Lemon. No. Sick him. <laughs> okay. Interrupting my practice. What a jerk. This is really hard. Okay, so up, down. <laughs> so do you think it would give you more incentive if the ends of the pen were like little lightsaber nubs? Lightsaber nubs? Yeah. What are lightsaber nubs, Dan? Yeah, I don't know, like a little nice, like a tiny lightsaber. <laughs> I think that like, would hurt. You know, like there are people. It's like it's a it's Darth Maul's lightsaber except tiny and in your hand. It'd have to be. Oh no. Like a ninja. I have chopsticks. That could work. Have you seen my lightsaber chopsticks? I have seen your lightsaber chopstick. Yes. Um, I'll get them at the end. So if you watch till the end, I'll show you my lightsaber chopsticks. So I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to push it down to grab it because I think that it's cheating. Um, but I'm, I'm, I have a theory that it's just a lot of momentum um, that I just haven't gotten yet. And I have two. This, was, this one feels a lot worse. Oh. I should, maybe I should do both hands. That was the most confusing moment I've ever seen. Because <laughs> you said it was, feels worse, but you looked like it felt better. <laughs> <laughs> My brain and my hands do not always agree. Hi, Jen. I'll stop. Dang it. Roommates, yay. <laughs> yay, roommates. <laughs> Someday I'll have a big house. But you guys are still welcome to come live with me. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm invested in your future. Well, I also <laughs> just can't, I can't live alone because then I get really sad and depressed. Oof. Having emotional support is important. And you guys are a big part of that. Thanks. Oh, yay. Yeah. It's feeling better. <laughs> like, I, I can feel the muscle memory. Look at this. I, I pushed again. I cheated. You're not supposed to cheat. Three. Doesn't have to be pretty at first. No, it'll but get, it'll get pretty later. Look at how much faster I'm doing it. Like I'm really, no, oh, it is. It's satisfying. I, I think it, it's eventually just gonna be like, -dunk 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 -dunk. that's the noise that they make. -dunk 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 -dunk. Yeah, yes. I'm really happy. Like this is going much better than cardistry. <laughs> cardistry did not make progress. <laughs> I gotta practice that a lot. We'll get back to that one. <laughs> I'm gonna practice that more. But this, I can already feel. Look at this. <laughs> Whenever I say look at this, I'm I like. I know, right? It's like, yes, it's a claw hand. <laughs> <laughs> the claw. <laughs> Scared of the claw. You remember that movie? <laughs> liar, liar. That was a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of scary. A lot of. Jim Carrey scares me. I, I, he I makes me uncomfortable. He's a pretty scary person. Yeah. Look at his eyes. <laughs> And, like, the fact that he was part of so much of my childhood freaks me out. Yeah. Because he was really quite terrifying. Mm -hmm. Liar Liar was good, but... I mean, you I'm know. sure if I watched it again, there would be some scary moments that oh, are I'm sure. questionable. Dumb and Dumber is still a favorite of mine. Dumb and Dumber is amazing. <laughs> but that's... I would... Um, I don't know. I almost feel like that's the least Jim Carrey movie of Jim Carrey's movie. Yeah. Movies. Because he's not... He's such a character in that that's like different. He's not being, he's stupid. Yes. And most of his, he's I think stupid. he's stupid. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of his, 
terrifyingness comes from him being smart. Mm -hmm. Like he seems like that, that guy that knows everything about you mm -hmm. and would follow you home. Yeah. And plus he, made, plus he had a string of making weird YouTube videos that were really weirding people out for a while. <laughs> I don't want to watch those, and I, I've never seen those. <laughs> don't worry, someone will link it in the chat, probably. No. Please don't. <sighs> is it weird that this, like, makes my hands cold? I think it's like all my blood is... <laughs> my, my, my body is confused. It's like, what are you doing? Are your hands dying? Should we, should we rush the blood away from your hands? First case of indoor frostbite in the fingers. <laughs> Look at this, though. I'm getting it. This blanket was a good idea. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. Good. Regroup. I, I'm proud of that. So there was another, <laughs> I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to it. Uh, I think I made a lot of progress. The next one I wanna practice looked amazing and like I saw, I saw, I looked it up earlier today and it was just like, yeah, I, the first, I, made videos on them. I don't want your sounds. Okay. So this, <laughs> <laughs> this one is called the shadow. Like the dog from Homeward Bound. Shadow. It was such a sad movie. <laughs> Remember when Shadow was stuck in the hole at the end? Oh, man. <laughs> I have nothing more to give Chance. And it's time for you to be on your own. <laughs> ah. So this one is so cool. It like, it goes around, I think, I don't know what's happening. I should watch the full tutorial, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it like comes around the back of your hand. It's called the shadow. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I think that's what's happening. So he's doing this a lot. It's so satisfying, Dan. I mean, I know you don't know because I can't do it, but when I do it, you'll be like, yeah, I get it. Ow. Stop talking. Just show me the trick. I'm pretty sure, I think that's it. I don't, I don't think there's anything else I can learn about it other than it's supposed to do that. How does he make it look so good? Can you imagine? Flaring that wind up. <laughs> can you imagine, like, if this were a little mini lightsaber, yeah. and and like? It would just shave the back of your hand right off. No, well, <laughs> but imagine it didn't, and it was just a cool lightsaber, and you were a Jedi, mm -hmm. but you had a little tiny lightsaber, and you were just like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're like a little tiny lightsaber ninja. And yeah, like spin pens. And it just like it was. It would be such a weird power move. Yeah. They make enough Star Wars movies. We'll get there. Yeah, like this is what Babu Frick's <laughs> lightsaber would look like. Hey! 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 <laughs> the best part of that movie. I mean, that was I liked last. What is it called? Rise of Skywalker. I am not good at names. I am not good at titles. I like the last clothes. I like the last Skywalker. I like the old ones. The first one was just called Star Wars. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <gasps> Ooh. I think that was it. He's using his fingers a lot. Like it's coming up and resting on, but landing in that part. He dropped it too, see? It's frustrating learning something new, but it's also really fun. Like, like learning. <sighs> so we teased before. Oh, my favorite. What um, your favorite Star Wars movie might be, since we're wearing a shirt and we just mentioned Mr. Frick. Yeah, my I talked about the prequels last time. Briefly. And how I think that they're not as bad as maybe people think they are. And... I mean, the burden of proof is on you. <laughs> I, I think it's the opposite. Whoa, I did something. I think it's the opposite. Aren't you innocent until proven guilty? 
So. I saw it. <laughs> okay, but like, hear me out though. First of all, I was nine years old, and for a nine-year-old Taylor, ooh, it's getting better. A nine-year-old Taylor walking into the movie theater, being like, "What the crap is this little Star Wars thing?" My uncle's really excited about. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what Star Wars was. He was like, no, no, it's gonna be good. And I was like, okay, it doesn't have any lions in it, so <laughs> not that I know of. We've gotta have standards here. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, whatever. And think, 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 think. Is this loud? Should I? You can double pat it. I might should double pat it, because I feel like it's just gonna be a video of me going clink, clink. Yeah, double patting, it seems to really. I just wanted an excuse to touch the blanket again. Damn right. Try it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> We're like 15 minutes into this video. Why didn't We're I do 20 that? 20 minutes into this video. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cozy. God. Somebody watching this up to now is just like, just double up the blanket. Somebody was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you. Oh, driving me nuts. So the shadow. Oh. oh. I still missed it. Uh, but yeah, I went to the movie theater. And I just remember the first time, you know, if I recall correctly. Yeah, they were in the room in the, the waiting for the negotiations that mm -hmm. never happened. Because they were short. The negotiations were short. And they, you know, the, the something, I think the gas comes out. Mm-hmm. And they were just like, so. <laughs> and I had never seen a lightsaber before, and I just remember like, it cuts to the door. Yeah, what is that? And um, and it was really, really happy. And the whole movie from there was just fantastic for a nine-year-old who had never seen a glowing <laughs> sword before, <laughs> ever. And and I get it. I do. I understand that. Jar Jar is annoying. I agree. I don't like Jar Jar either. I didn't like Jar Jar then. My friends and I used to make fun of him too. Even the nine-year-olds knew that Jar Jar was stupid. My mom loves Jar Jar. It's her favorite character. <laughs> like she literally was like, at Christmas we were watching them all and she was like, I just, she was laughing at all of his jokes, which no one does. And she was just, she's like, oh, Jar Jar's my favorite. <laughs> and I was like, what? What? Who's your favorite? Jar Jar. Jar Jar is her favorite character. So we are very different. I don't like Jar Jar. But I like the rest of the movie. I know that a lot of people give Phantom Menace crap for, you know, not being... Like, I've heard so many complaints about it. Like, it's boring. It doesn't follow the structure of a good movie. You know, who's the main character? Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And... Like, if you take out Jar Jar, yeah, it has a flaw. Absolutely. <laughs> the kid is annoying, also. But, I mean, you've got Qui-Gon Jinn, who's freaking cool, and who is also the main character. Mm -hmm. If you know anything about stories, <laughs> people on the internet who complain about things. It's, he's the main character. It's his story. He finds the boy, he does the whole thing, he, it's his story, and then he dies at the end. It's really sad. Spoiler, I guess, if you've never seen it. <laughs> I would hope so. I mean, to be honest, though, um, there, there is a good defense you can mount for the sheer... I mean, even in comparison to the new trilogy, when you look back at the prequel trilogy, you can see that there's, there is a lot more imagination on screen. There is a lot more world building. Well, that's what I think I love mm. about it. Um, in general, I tend to love fantasy things that are building the world around them and are creating the lore. There's an old person outside rolling a cart or something. Could be a mop, I'm going to say. Mm. Yeah, it's very fast. That's totally a mop. Or a, or a cart. You're gonna pass by the window. That's Mop. That man looks very sad. Mopping on a Saturday. Here I am doing this. I'm so privileged. Um. Yeah, like that's what I really like about it is that it's. Like I I like 
fantasy for the sake of being able to pretend like I'm in it. Like for me, Star Wars has never been about Luke or Obi-Wan or Yoda or Babu Frick or Rey or any of those people. For me, it was always about, oh, I almost got it. For me, it was always about feeling like I could be a Jedi and I could be part of that world. And I honestly, when I look them, watch them back, there's a part of me that I don't want to be a part of the Empire world. <laughs> that is a terrible world. I want to be part of... Oh. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I want to be part of the, the Republic where the Jedi are thriving. And, and it is really cool to see... The, um, I think I gotta, I gotta do something else with my hands for a second. It's really cool to see the, the world that George Lucas built. Like, seeing the Jedi thrive in their amazing council and, like, where they were kind of the, the monks of the, the world. Like, that is awesome. And, yeah, is it a good movie, per se? Not necessarily. Like, it, it's not the funnest to watch if you're not into it. And it's not like you have a lot of emotions with it or you're really invested in most of the characters. But I kind of feel like it's there to give kids stuff to dream about. Yeah. It's, it's there really to important. fill in it it's there to fill in the rest of the things. Like how did the Jedi like, you know, start and how did they fail and all that stuff. That's the point of the prequels. They're not supposed to be Amazing. I, I mean, I'm sure he wanted them to be amazing. Yeah, of course, everyone wants a movie to be good, but you don't know what it's going to be till you make it. Yeah, and for me, it's like, I don't like them because I think that they're the best Star Wars. But I know they're not the best Star Wars. I don't think they're even, like, good movies, per se. But I, I think they're enjoyable, especially if you allow yourself just to be immersed in this beautiful world that George Lucas created. Like, yeah. I love Naboo. I want to go to Naboo so bad. Yeah, that, that was one thing that struck me about the new trilogy as compared to the old, is that the new trilogy didn't really feel like it had... <laughs> nice. I did it twice in a row. I'm listening. <laughs> the new trilogy didn't really feel like it had a lot of new in it. When you, Especially when you go back and you look at, like, a Naboo ship and they're sleek and shiny <sighs> and completely different from the world that you know. And then you come to the new movies, which is supposedly way in the way down the line from when those events took place and there's nothing new there's no new shift it doesn't they're it makes all the sense same though vibe. i know it's, it's the, very hard to like the empire, rebuild a world that right the empire took over and everything it's like somebody some alien race could have some weird shit yeah whatever happened to the you know the people on the outskirts where the planet doesn't even exist in the prequels uh yeah. what was that called oh. in episode two the best part of episode two where the clones are from oh um, the water world with a crazy tall alien yeah. And that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, it's that weird that those people are not... Yeah, they're nowhere in the... It's like they... It's. I mean, they want to lean on the first trilogy and not the prequel trilogy. Which you can't blame them for because the n people hate the old trilogy... Or the, the new old trilogy. Like, the original. The new one too, but, <laughs> but that's the thing that also gets me about it. It's like, look, they don't all... Like, it's okay that the original trilogy is the best. They don't all have to be the best. They don't always have to get better. The existence of new ones does not take away from the old ones. Like, it, it, people are like, they ruined Star Wars. I'm like, how? How did they ruin something that already exists? Like, when I eat a bad sandwich, it's not like, you ruin sandwiches forever. It's like, I can still go get a good sandwich. I can still go watch the old Star Wars. It's, you know, it's like, if you don't like the new ones, don't watch them. Yeah. But there are people out there who get something out of them, and you can hate me all you want for thinking that there's some good in the old, or the new, the yeah. prequels. But I just, you know, I think it's cool seeing the Jedi in their outfits. I think it's cool seeing all the different lightsabers we got to see for the first time. I think it's cool seeing the Jedi Council and see, you know, and then the second and third episodes have a lot of stuff in them too. I, you know, I just think it's cool. And, and I think it shows a lot about the hate that people choose to have where the new trilogy people hate it for like literally the opposite reasons. <laughs> it's like the old one. We hated it because it doesn't follow the story and it just is so out there and it doesn't do any of the things that the old one did. Yeah. And then the new one's like, we hate it because it's just basically the old one. Yeah, it's too safe. It's, I don't know, they rehash all the things that we, they know we love. It's like, well, when they don't, you hate it. <laughs> like, 
it's like it's like it's like the internet doesn't remember when the when they were ruining George Lucas's life because they didn't like his movie. Yeah. It's like <laughs> And I'm pretty sure he thinks it's really weird now that there's a whole subset of people that are just like, Your movies were great and he's like, Where were you when I needed yeah. you? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is very hard. It looks like it's kind of hard. But I've gotten it a few times. Like, let's relive those glory moments for a second. Luckily, we're capturing this in a high frame rate, so you can play them back at slow speeds to relive the glory. <laughs> take up twice as much space on my computer. But, you know, that's the Jackie Chan method. All you need is one good take. <laughs> but I don't believe in that. I want to be able to do it. But he can. Yeah, no, Jackie Chan's amazing. He He's broken it. over every bone in his body. That's, though, not where it's supposed to end. Hmm. But I did get it a few times. Like, I think the fact that I've even gotten it makes me happy. You think talking helps you, like, autopilot? To an extent, yeah. I, I think that... Um, that was it. I think that sometimes it can be a double-edged sword. Or a double-edged pen. That if you're talking too much, or you're not able to do something in focus while you're talking, uh, then you don't improve at all. You'll just sit there and like mess up over and over again. Like focused practice is important, but for me, I think I've gotten pretty used to learning new things that I can do it while talking. That's what I think. Gotcha. That's my theory on life. So yeah, so okay, I wanna go back to this one for a second and then I think I'm just gonna wrap up for today because my hands hurt. Look <laughs> at this, I can do it. Shut up. <laughs> I almost did it. Didn't say anything. <laughs> but like, that's crazy. That's really cool. I love the learning process, like your brain and how when I started learning this less than a half hour ago, I couldn't even get it into the pinky. And I took a break and now I can like, it's not smooth, but I can get it going. That's pretty cool. Brains are amazing. Yeah. So, recap. One. Two. Three. <laughs> That'll be four, when I can do it. Four. And then... Looks like crap. It's not about being pretty. Five. So those are my five tricks. Those are the ones I want to work on. I'm gonna keep practicing them, and I'll check back in. If you if you liked seeing me practice pen spinning, let me know. Um, I'm gonna keep practicing regardless. But if you liked seeing it, then I'll keep doing these videos, and I'll sh I'll check in with you next time. Let me know. And if you have any other ideas of things you want to see me try, leave a comment. You know, share your thoughts or if you have any questions and topics. If you want to hear why I think that Obi-Wan Kenobi is the best character in all of Star Wars, I will gladly talk about it. Just let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh yeah, thanks Dan. Yay. I'm gonna go cuddle with my blankie. And pen spin. <laughs>